Welcome to another edition of Youth Ablaze. My name is Tunde Samson. Let us pray. Father, we appreciate you for a time like this. We pray for your presence and we ask that you give us understanding as we study your words in Jesus' name. Amen. We will be tested. We will be tested. In the book of Genesis chapter 22 from verse 1 to 2 it says, Now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. Then he said, Take now your son, your only son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering, on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. If you go through the uh, the verses in that that same chapter twenty two, you see uh, that God stopped Abraham from sacrificing his child. Eventually, God wanted to know from the testing if he. He meant more to Abraham than even Isaac his son. Abraham showed that he was willing to lay down everything, uh, everything dear to him, in order to please God. In order to please God, a test comes through trial. When we experience issues or difficulty in our lives, that allows God to know how faithful we are to Him. Tests simply reveal the level of where our faith is currently. Tests are ways to show God what is truly in our heart. When our faith is tested, our, our relationship with God and how much we love Him is also tested. A test should not be mistaken for temptation. Temptation entices you to sin and it's not from God. God will never draw you to sin. God tests us because He loves us so much and desires that we grow in grace and in the knowledge of him. No wonder in James chapter 1 verse 12 it says, Blessed is the man is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Also in James 1 verse 2 to 4 it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. There are several areas God can test us. One is the test of our heart. God tests our heart to know our motives. For example, it is difficult to, un- to handle increase if your motives are wrong. If all you are looking out for is what is in for you, you will never be able to manage or look after the increase or the blessings of God. All the, all the blessings God is about to release to you. He wants to know if it increases you, what will you do with it? Will the increase sway or derail you from Him? Are you really ready for increase? Will God be glorified in your increase, or will you take credit for your blessings, for your blessings or increase? God wants to know that His blessings will not affect your obedience to Him and your relationship with Him. So, if you are going through a test in life, see it as an opportunity to show that you genuinely desire to love and have a relationship with God. Receive the grace to remain faithful to Him in Jesus' name. Amen. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, why don't you do so now? Tomorrow may be too late. Please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life and forgive all my sins. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe in my heart you died and rose from the dead to save me. From now on, I will serve you and follow you. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have any questions or comments, kindly put it down in the comment section below. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.